We don't know where the driver is. Did they leave the keys in it? Yeah, the keys right on the hood. I left it there. Sweet. Uh, yeah, and the passenger, uh, Tim, took her into Bethlehem. The passenger stayed and the driver was off? He went to go get help. You're a lucky son of a bitch. Good Lord, you see how far down that is? Yeah. We're talking fatal. Yep. In a Volkswagen. These things, if it wasn't for the old bike, Volkswagen still on the road today, these would be the most dangerous cars in the world. Yeah, world. Uh, yeah he's right there on the road. Oh, sweet. Good deal. Yep. Good Lord. What the heck was he thinking? Out for a Sunday drive. Everybody's driving around. What are you looking at? Okay. Well, it'll come out. I'm gonna. So uh, yeah, she didn't have money to pay for it. It's her car. So she I said, all right. To deal with it, whatever. Yeah. So I said, so I didn't give her a form, but uh, okay. Tim gave her your name. And okay, I'm gonna pull forward about ten feet, and then we'll get her stuffed up. All right, sounds good. I did my first beach tow this morning. I haven't done a beach tow in two and a half months. <laughs> These guys went down on Clifton Beach approach. Yeah. And there's barricades. But four wheel drive's been going up over this great big steep dune and down. He, and, his, and a Dodge Caravan goes up or down the beach. He gets down. He saw the close signs. He gets down there. He goes, I didn't see any car tracks. And I got worried. I thought maybe it was not supposed to be out here. I said, you, you saw the sign? Yeah. As soon as he turned around, he buried it. <laughs> I'll pull over about 10 feet. We'll get it right out. Okay. The part about these Volkswagen, there's absolutely nothing in the front of them to hook onto. There's what? There's nothing to hook onto. They, uh, the ground clearance of these things is like zero. They get stuck easy. They get, they'll get stuck on the shoulder of the road. Something here. That feels like it right there. Now I'll find the chain. Up over the top. Come on, get in there. The other way. Drive, I'll just give her a little bit of gas. Not even hardly pulling on it, it's just coming right out. Just like it wants to. Look at that. Can't beat that. No, that won't move on her own. Makes it easy. Oh. More or less kind of drove it out. Okay. 
back this off. They were completely backwards and sideways when they went into this. They were moving. down the road to a wide spot to fish button it up that way I'm not out on the road perfect not the gnats and mosquitoes around oh, here oh man my car and I can't get them out. they love this <laughs> hey don't ever go to that better point in the evenings oh I can imagine oh it's it's unbelievable yeah. I pull up Bob Langender for an old deputy sheriff was stuck up there and I pulled up and he's stuck I pull up my four-wheel drive he's got the window down about this far I walk up and says well buddy goes you better hurry I says okay Hey, what's going on? I'm just telling you, you better hurry. I said, why? He goes, too late. And all of a sudden, I mean, it was just, it was just like I was carpeted with them. The other day was the last week you towed that one at 145th, I think. With the gnats? Into the fence. Yeah. yeah. I got out and I left my car door open because I went out. I came back and there was a hundred of them. I couldn't get them out the rest of the day. And they bite. Oh, my Those gnats are horrible. They're worse than a mosquito. At least a mosquito, you can see them and beat them. Yeah. Those gnats, you can't even see them. They just get a bite on you. I'll pull on down there and button her up. up not a mark on it uh, I think that little bit of scratches back there from something else supposedly the driver came around the corner and crossed the steering line broadsided went out to the brush left the gal that's left the pasture in the car and he went for help and he never came back they're from Wyoming and she told the officer they're just out driving around because they had nothing better to do 
those stimulus checks are giving people opportunities to travel with time off that they never had before I think so there you are oh well it was 28 38 40 it was 52 miles up here for me one way so we're heading back to Ocean Park now